think it's a fair thing to say that the door as the entry to this room has definitely seen better days and needs replacing. So I've got Mark from Monarch here to show me not just how to paint a door, but how to work with its different textures and shapes as well. Because there is a process, isn't there? Absolutely, Leanne, because what you have is two really different types of doors. We've got a panel door like this and then your traditional flat doors. And everybody thinks, oh, these are so hard to do. These are actually fantastic, particularly, again, with a quality brush, because you need to do a brush inside the moulding of the door. And then you can use those little mini rollers we've got to do the little section. And what you do here is it's basically like doing a jigsaw. You do one piece of the puzzle at a time. So what we're going to tackle is the four panels first and then every other piece of the door. And that way, this will come up looking sensational. Ready? Do it. OK. So the first thing we're going to do is inside the moulding. Okay. So again, using our quality brush that's going to hold its shape because we want to get a good finish on this. So inside the moulding, this brush, again, because it doesn't flare, you get really good control. And again, not too much paint. If you put too much paint on, guess what? You get drips all over your door. And that looks so bad. Correct. Because once it dries, how do you get that off? You've you got to sand. sand. So when I load my brush, I don't have much paint on, just enough to let the brush glide and get inside that moulding. Any loose bits, just feather them off. No big yeah. deal. OK, so now we've cut in with our brush. Now we're going to use these fantastic mini rollers to do the door panel. And these are great because they're so small, you can use them on every single panel of this door. It fits the sections perfectly, so, doesn't it? Yeah, and being this is foam, so what you want to do is you don't want to have a thick coat of paint. And the foam roller is perfect for water-based and oil-based enamel. Now, what a painter does, he's really fussy. A DIY, they'll leave it like that. What a painter actually does is he gets his brush that he used for the moulding and he does what's called tipping off, going really lightly with the tip of the brush. And the reason he's doing that is because any roller, regardless of how good it is, will leave some sort of stipple, bubbles, bubbled effect, right? Sure. That gets rid of that. Wow, who knew? So what we do now is we do the four panels exactly like we did that and then tackle the other pieces one piece at a time to get that really professional finish. You want to have a go? Why not? Okay. It's quite methodical. So we've painted the panel door with all of the texture in it, quite easy really. Yep. Now we're going to paint the flat door, which should also be quite easy, right? Well, everybody thinks flat doors are easy, Leah, but in fact flat doors are harder because you have a bigger surface area. So again, we use a quality brush for doing our two edges and along the bottom of the door. So we're cutting in. Yep. But then to roll the whole face of the door, we want to use a quality roller, and I love using a little 5 mil nap roller. It'll usually say on it, doors and cupboards. So what that's designed to do is to hold minimal paint, nice smooth finish. I reckon we show you how to do that, eh? I think we should. Righto. First thing we're going to do with our brush is we're going to cut in our edges. Okay. Okay? Let's do that first. Okay. Sides are done. Sides are done? Yep. So now what we need to do is cut along the bottom of the door so the roller doesn't go and hit the floor and get grit in it. Yep. So we just very carefully using our good brush, just like cutting in a wall, put it on away from the edge first. Angle the quality brush and let it glide. I mean, ideally you'd have the door up on some blocks, right? Sure. Or mounted or here. actually hung. Absolutely. OK, so now what we're going to do is with our quality roller, yep. we're going to roll the face of this door. You're not going to get the whole door done with one roller load. So what we're going to do is start, I'll use my other hand, we'll do about the top third of the door first. And again, because this roller is so nice and thin, it's only going to put a nice thin film on. It's nice and even, isn't it? It is, but what you are going to see is a lot of roller marks. You don't worry about that because we're going to fix them when we get the whole face of the door done. So it's get this coat on. Get this coat on. And then the And then smooth it off. Gotcha. OK, so once we've coated the door up, if this was oil-based paint, oil-based paint doesn't dry quick. So what you do is you roll it on and then you use your quality brush to tip off. And what you do is you start at the top, let the brush glide down using the tip of the brush, come up from the bottom and overlap what you did, and you come across a brush width at a time doing that, and that's what's called tipping off and getting a beautiful finish. Water-based enamel tends to dry a bit quick to do that, so what I prefer to do is Roll the entire door, and then when I've finished the bottom third, roll sideways at the bottom just to get rid of the cutting in that the brush did. And this roller's got no more paint on. 
Right. So I'm using the roller now like laying off a wall. I'm going to go all the way up. So it's just smoothing out This all is of the smoothing it out and getting rid of any roller marks. So I'm going to do that up and down, up and down, come across the roller width, and we do it again. So if you notice, I actually do it four times. Up, down, up, down. And then when you look at it, you notice that you've got no joins, no roller marks, super smooth finish on your door. I have to tell you, it is really interesting to see such a methodical technique. It actually really does work. I mean, I've seen and been privy to people painting doors many, many times, and they can end up a real mess yep. if it isn't a process. And this is a really good process. It's very easy to follow. And again, we've got the great brush, we've got the great roller. You want to paint like a pro? Use professional tools. You're only as good as the tools you use. Absolutely. And this is great, because now we know how to paint a door, not just a textured one, but a flat surface too. Thanks, Mark. <laughs>